We got a 1.6 metre span glider, 10 gram motor. Wing section is a KFM 9. Weighs, believe it or not, only about 7 ounces. So it looks a bit loose. The wind's changed right in direction. Half power at the moment. Oh, loads more stable. <laughs> Perishing wind has come right round between the flats now. Right, let's try gliding. Right, a few clicks are up. Oh, I've got 500 live hoe in it. As I said, 1.6 metres, 10 gram motor. That tail looks a bit wobbly. I don't, I don't know why. I'll have to make sure it ain't come unstuck a bit. But the glide on it is uh, pretty reasonable. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Out thermal if I can find any. All on the glide, obviously. Virtually hands off glide. Oh, and I thought I was going to land. Right, so what we need to do is to check that tail because it's wobbling all over the bloody place. <laughs> Could just be the area. <sighs> yeah, it's just the area and the, the rods vibrating, that's all. Oh, so that don't matter. That ain't a problem. Right, the wind now seems to be from over there. Right, 1.6 metre wing. It's a KFM 9 wing. And it's a 10 gram motor pulling that up uh, on just over half power. So, simple V tail. The whole model weighs about 7 ounces with a 500 battery in it. 10 grams is more than enough to pull it up, as you can see. Fraction over half power and it's gaining height and gaining height. The only thing I don't like about it is this corona system in here. They seem to be problematical. Right, throttle down. Here we go. Swing it round to the right. The left, I should say. Take it up the line out of flats. See if I can find some lift over the flats. Occasionally find it. Oh no, the wind's changed direction again. Coming the other way again. Go back again then. This is all on the glide, so so the glide is quite reasonable. Wind is only, only about four mile an hour today, so it's very gentle. No seagulls to show us where the lift is. 
go back over the flats again. Swing it out. Oh, a little bump there. Turns nice. Bigger tail fins are better, although they're making it vibrate a bit. Yeah, the wind's changed direction now. Totally the opposite direction. A little bit of power. Quite a lot of dihedral, it's about 10 degrees dihedral. Less than half power, you can fly it around. and gain height. A little bit of bounce in the wings with the four mil carbon rods. Chuck it around a bit. Oop. Don't overstress the wings, it's easy. I say the, the wings bounce and the tailplane bounces, but it doesn't make any difference, it's all nice and smooth to fly. We're under half power now. Come down on the right side, there's no need for them. As you can see, turns are lovely and smooth. Power's down under half power. Got a lot of down thrust on it. Oh, hello, there's birdies up there. No doubt about it, they're better at it than I am. Still on the glide, so... Don't think they're getting any lift as such. Maybe they are. I'm sure they keep cheating and flapping. Yes, there's a little bit of lift there. I think it's going up in it. Just gently. Ah, turn it around, come on. Don't lose the lift. Now you've lost it, you bugger.
Yeah, it's quite capable of serving it, okay. If you can find a lift. The old birds don't have any trouble, do they? Buggers. There's another lot right up there. I ain't gonna go that way, I'll only lose it with this corona. Don't trust it at all. Nice and easy, all I'm doing is rudder turns. Easy, easy peasy. to a half power again and up she goes. <laughs> 